Welcome back to Razmafsar TV. Uh, I'm going to show you American Cemetery or Normandy American Cemetery and Memorial. Uh, this is a cemetery of American soldier who uh, died in the Battle of Normandy. And uh, the total burials uh, amount to 9,388. But there are also unknown soldiers who were buried, buried here and they were an additional 307 soldiers who are also buried here. Uh, so uh, let's say it honors American troops who died in Europe during World War II and also a memorial uh, is there which has maps and details of the Normandy landings and um, this is this. The cemetery is located uh, on a bluff overlooking Omaha Beach, which was one of the landing beaches of the Normandy invasion in uh, the English Channel. The whole uh, surface, I mean, the area uh, covers 172.5 acres, and as I mentioned before, contains the remains of 9,388 American. Uh, soldiers, military dead, and uh, most of them killed during the invasion of Normandy and also um, after the, the battles which ensued. Uh, included, we have here also graves of army air corps crews shot down over France as early as 1942 and four American women. So, as you can see here, uh, among uh, the burials, uh, this American military cemetery are uh, three recipients of the Medal of Honor, including Theodore Roosevelt Jr., son of President Theodore Roosevelt, who is also buried, buried here. After the cemetery was uh, created, um, and uh, another son of President Roosevelt, Quentin, who was also killed, had been killed actually in World War I, was exhumed and reburied here next to his brother, Theodore Jr. We have also some uh, notable burials, other ones, at the cemetery, and um, there are Medal of Honor recipients uh, such as uh, Jimmy W. Montez, Frank D. Perigori, and also, as I mentioned, Theodore Roosevelt Jr., who was also a Medal of Honor recipient, and uh, also, other um, notable bur uh, burials, as I said, Quentin Roosevelt, Leslie McNay, who was a U.S. Uh, Army general, one of the two highest ranking Americans to be killed in action uh, in World War II. And also, two of uh, the Neyland brothers, Preston and Robert, uh, as you remember, uh, maybe the movie Saving Private Ryan by Steven Spielberg's is based on the story of uh, Preston and Robert. The cemetery is uh, divided into 10 plots and uh, it forms a Latin cross with the chapel in its middle and the memorial and wall of the missing at its base. As you can see, uh, back then here you can see there are also uh, more soldiers were buried here. Uh, 
names of the so great names of service members involved in missing, declared missing in action in Normandy, which are also included here. The American cemetery here contains the graves of 45 pairs of brothers. Among these 45, 30 of which are buried side by side. A father and his son, an uncle and his nephew, two pairs of cousins, three generals, four chaplains, four civilians, four women, 147 African Americans and 20 Native Americans. As I mentioned before, 307 unknown soldiers are also buried next to other service members. If you look at their headstones, the inscriptions read, Here rests in honored glory a comrade in arms, known but to God. Um, east of the memorial, we have the wall of the missing, and so missing actions. And uh, there, on the wall of the missing, uh, inscriptions, I mean, the names of 1,557 of service members declared missing and actions are inscribed there. These were during the Operation Overlord, which was on the D-Day, attacking and the assaults which happened here. Nineteen of these names bear a bronze rosette, meaning that their body was found and identified since the cemetery's dedication. This is an, uh, a sad and impressive uh, site, site uh, which uh, shows um, um, how many service members on this side lost their lives and in the next video I'm going also to show the German uh, uh, military cemetery which is also in this area not close to this cemetery but in a, uh, in a location also in Normandy because I also went there and made a film there and in the next video you're going to see uh, I'm going to uh, not to talk in English I'm going to talk in German because it's uh, German cemetery and as I speak German I think it's better uh, to explain uh, the, uh, this uh, the next video in German